in two weeks I'm going to a ball and I have absolutely nothing to wear. So I went to the thrift store and I found this beautiful tablecloth and it's just so shiny. In this video I'll show you how to turn this old tablecloth into a beautiful ball dress by using the pattern I used for Lorraine's dress. I'm just gonna make it shorter, add a waistband, some puffy sleeves, a lace up in the back and to make it a little bit extra, I'm going to add a triangle cutout in the front. So the first step is to make a mock-up and then tweak it a little to make the new design. This is my mock-up and I only made a few changes to the pattern I used. So I made the top edge a little bit shorter because I thought it's too high and I also shortened the bottom edge because I wanted to add the waistband and therefore it just had to be a little bit shorter. And I also made this triangle cut out and to do that I just folded in the fabric on the inside to just have a nice straight line and now I'm just going to make those changes on my pattern. This is my pattern and I only have two pieces because I already connected the side front with the back piece because then I don't have to sew this seam. And now I'm going to take this fabric and it's exactly the same fabric I also used for the Toto Matoshi inspired dress. If you haven't seen that video definitely go check it out. And I'm going to use this to make the lining of the dress and I'm also going to cut out some interfacing. These are all the lining pieces, but the interfacing didn't really want to stick to it so well, so I just overlocked the edges and also to prevent it from fraying. And now I'm just going to sew these pieces together. This is the lining and I also made some boning channels and now I'm going to sew the boning channels onto the lining on the princess seam, the side seam and on the triangle. The boning channels are attached to the lining, so now I'm going to take some bra foam and make some cuts. The lining is finished! This is how it looks on the inside. I just attached the cups with a zigzag stitch and I inserted all the boning and now it's very nice and structured so I can move on to making the outside of the dress. So I'm just going to take my beautiful fabric and cut out my pieces. It feels like I'm cutting in slow motion. Ta-da! These are all the pieces and I also overlocked them because they were just fraying like crazy and now I'm just going to assemble them exactly like I did with the lining.
this is how it looks and this is the inside I just pressed the seams open and next I'm going to make some loops for the lace up The loops are finished and now I'm going to place them on this side along this line and then I'm going to place the lining and the outside fabric right sides facing each other and sew along the top edge, the side and the triangle. The bodice is finished! This is how it looks on. I think it's just so pretty. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And next I'm going to take the waistband and the waistband lining and attach them to the bodice. So many layers. The waistband is attached and I also understitched it to make sure the lining won't be visible on the outside. Next I'm going to make the skirt and therefore I made this pattern and it's a negative pattern and that means that it's not the part of the fabric you actually want to have in the end but basically the part you cut away and it's just the inner circle of the circle skirt and for the outer circle I'm just gonna measure out 42 centimeters and just cut it out. skirt is cut out and I also overlocked it because this fabric just frays so much and I barely had enough fabric to cut out the skirt. I had to undo a little bit of the original hem of the tablecloth to be able to cut it out but it worked out. It's just as big as I wanted it to be and next I'm going to attach the skirt to the waistband of the bodice. This is so pretty! The skirt is currently only attached to the outside waistband and the lining is still hanging loose because I'm going to sew it down later. But right now I'm going to put in an invisible zipper. The zipper is sewn in and I just really like how the pattern of the fabric lines up that you almost can't see the seam. Now the two last things to do on the dress are to attach the waistband lining and to hem the skirt. So let's do it. also hem this by hand but that would just take so long. I mean it would look better but I don't care. It is 
finished and it just looks so beautiful i just really like how shiny it is and i decided to not add the sleeves because i just felt like it would make it a little bit top heavy but now without further ado let's have a look at the finished dress So I hope you enjoyed to see me make this dress and if you did, I'm sure you'll like this video where I made a Potomotoshi inspired dress. <laughs>